Welcome to Crystal Info Get Going Guides. This uh, episode we're going to be looking at some uh, effects that we can use uh, to some graphic elements on your page. And what I've done is I've just imported a picture here. I've got it in a CSS box. It doesn't matter uh, what you bring it in, uh, anything at all. Uh, and we're going to be looking at going down to Actions and using the Attention Effects. So these things are effects that you can apply to them. So we're going to have a look at attention and the idea is, is that it just draws the eye to an element. So if we look at the uh, control panel in the actions window for this we have an on page load so when the page first loads what effect do we want and what do we want to happen if we trigger this. So if it's a button what will happen uh, during that. So we're going to first have an on load so we're going to have it to shake onto the page. This is the duration of the shake so we're going to have it uh, as one second uh, we can put a delay on it as well and on trigger we're going to have it pulsate and we'll have that on one and we'll tell it what image we want it to apply to and it will be triggered uh, on click although I could do a trigger on mouse over uh, as well so you can have a different effect uh, as you roll over so let's preview this and see what it does so it shakes when it comes on and then when I move over and click it will start to pulsate. So it gives an indication that you've clicked on something, it shows you what uh, are available uh, on your site to draw the eye to it so you can see wh what it is uh, that you want the people to focus on. And you can just click and change this so now I'm going to have it pulsate when it comes on and I'm going to have it shake uh, when I roll over it uh, this time. So let's preview that. So now it flashes when it comes on and when I roll over it just starts to shake. So every time I roll over it, it will just shake from there. So it's a useful little thing to use. I don't think it's something you should overly use, but it could be useful uh, on a site at any time. So this is Chris for Co.uk. You can find me on Apple uh, iTunes or you can find me on YouTube.